Hi, I'm Chris Kepler, and welcome to Does This Happen to You? I'm an actor, voice actor, audiobook narrator, and writer. I love telling and sharing stories about the strange experiences my friends and I have while doing mundane things like grocery shopping. That's why this podcast features funny stories from fantastic writers about our daily anomalies, a micro-audio book about life and befuddlement just for you. Our story this week is from Harley Jane, who you'll find on Medium.com, and here is, The vet told me my cat is a pothead. The cat's out of the bag. Harley's pupils darted back and forth. It was almost like her brain was vibrating. She stared out the window, but I could tell she wasn't really looking at anything. It was like when someone stares off into space, lost in a daydream. I tried to snap her out of it, but she was completely oblivious to me. I called her name and waved my hand in front of her face, trying to elicit some sort of response. Nothing. My attempts at snapping her back into reality went unnoticed by her. She continued to drift away to some other galaxy. It was as if she was looking right through me. I panicked and grabbed her carrier as quickly as I could and shoved her in. She didn't even put up the fight she normally would. I ran past my husband on the way to the car. I could barely tell him what was wrong without tears welling up in my eyes. My body's reaction to the fear and overwhelming emotions that I felt towards the possibility that my little peanut was in some sort of danger. Thank God for nine lives. It's important to mention that my cat has burned through at least five of her nine lives and it's only by a miracle that she still has a tail, although it has a permanent C-curve now. But those are stories for a different day. Despite living in a rural area where it seems like nothing is close by, my vet's office is a quick five-minute drive. And for once, Harley decided to use one of her nine lives during normal business hours. How nice of her. Typically, these trips involve a 45-minute drive on a Saturday night to the only vet open for emergencies. The vet was able to see her immediately. Or maybe I just barged in and budged everyone. I am not sure. When something is wrong with my baby, I tend to block out everything around me and go into crazy mom mode. She's just high. After a brief examination in which nothing appeared to be wrong, Dr. Huber asked me, Did she get into anything? Any catnip, maybe? That's when it dawned on me. We have catnip growing outside, and as you can imagine, you know, since she is a cat, Harley loves catnip. It was springtime, and I had forgotten that it naturally pops up in the same spot every year, the spot where Harley happened to be rolling around earlier. Apparently, she overindulged. The first catnip of the season, and she must have gotten a little carried away, or had at least forgotten her tolerance level. I think Harley is going to be fine. She is just high. How embarrassing! I had brought my perfect child to the doctor, only to be told her odd behavior is because she has been using drugs. I wondered how many times they had to explain to parents their child was self-medicating. And also, what the heck did they write in her file? Does she have a permanent record now? It was barely a year prior that Harley had fallen off our deck which nearly severed her tail off since she pulled a 4x4 four four post down with her. And that's not even the incident that derived her new nickname, Crooks McGee, due to the resulting crooked tail. As we were leaving the vet, Dr. Huber shouted after us, She is probably high when she fell off the deck, too! 
Everyone in the waiting room turned to look at who the delinquent was. Harley winked at the others peering out of their crates. I think I even heard her whisper, I'll catch you later, Whiskers. Meet me at the back gate. And that's how my cat became known as the local stoner. Sometimes I see her with one pant leg rolled up, passing out dime bags to the neighborhood street cats. She's such a little badass, and I wouldn't have it any other way. P.S. For anyone who is confused, my writing alias is based on my cat. I didn't actually name her after myself. Thanks so much for listening. If you enjoyed the story, let me know and share it with your friends. Follow me at Chris K.K. Aria on Twitter or Chris K. Kepler on Facebook. Or check out my website, www.chriskepler.com.